most of our struggle really came before uh, the studio stuff. Um, mainly came from just trying to make something that was was a decent movie. I, I found that that's really the hardest part uh, of the whole process. Um, and once we started making some decent short films, they sort of paved the way to smaller feature films and and um, you know festivals like them. And then agents started calling, and really things snowballed and doors have opened for us. But I think you know a big part of that. Uh, is due to the fact that we haven't really uh, bit off a lot more than we can chew. We started very small and, you know, sort of like increased our challenges very incrementally. Don't think about it too much. Um, it's probably going to be bad. Um, just make it and uh, show it in front of people who don't know and love you so that you can learn and you can complete the feedback loop of, you know, making a film and then sharing it with an audience and then really seeing like what you've done and getting out of your head about what you think your filmmaking should be and what you want to do, you know, ultimately I think to discover who you are and what you have to offer the world, you know, that is unique is something that you can't formulate in your mind. It's something that you actually have to create and has to unfold uh, through you. Um, I, I, I could never, you know, function in a, in a, in a fully like, you know, hired um, bureaucracy involved work environment. Like I, I, I don't really I'm not interested in being in the film industry per se. I'm interested in making movies and, and that mentality, I think, whether you're making movies at home for 50 bucks or whether you're making it at a studio, that mentality is sort of, that independent spirited mentality is, is what's important ultimately in the end.